Hey guys, uh, welcome back. In this video, I will mainly talk about uh, DFTS OFTM block or transform decoding block and uh, how the beamforming uh, is happening uh, in this block. So before that, I want to touch upon some of the concepts related to the precoding block. Mm, so in the previous video, I was talking about uh, this uh, 12th, uh, 12th block, which is precoding block, right? So basically, this is the uh, various signal processing blocks uh, that are happening in the uplink uh, direction uh, that is when the, the signal is transmitted from the uv to the base station okay the data processed at uh, uv undergoes various block and uh, the, those are and these are the blocks that are shown here and i mainly spoke about the precoding block in the precoding block um, the input uh, is coming from uh, the uh, layer um, uh, layer block so i had considered two cross two so number of layers is two so the input to this block is uh, you know number of layers the data of course number of layers and output uh, uh, is actually the number of antenna ports okay so here i had considered two antenna ports only uh, and these two antenna ports are finally connected to uh, you know to two different physical antennas now the first case is when w is equal to identity okay in this case um, you know I will get uh, x data 1 as x1 itself or x data 2 as x2 itself in which case across antenna 1 just x1 is transmitted and uh, x2 is transmitted across antenna 2. Basically in this case you know the what we can say is x1 is transmitted along this direction for 1 0 and uh, x2 is transmitted along this direction 0 1. Mm, you know this is taken from the uh, w is equal to identity. Now the other uh, case had considered is by understanding the channel conditions we had uh, uh, chosen uh, the precoding matrix right uh, so example matrix which I had considered is uh, 1 1 and 1 minus 1 in this case x1 is transmitted along 1 1 x2 is transmitted along 1 minus 1 a different direction is chosen so the fundamental uh, I mean what happens at the output of the precoding block so now x1 tilde is not just x1 but it is x1 plus x2 and x2 tilde is not just uh, x2 it is x1 minus x2 that is what is transmitted across uh, uh, the antenna 1 and antenna 2 okay so this is one main difference which i wanted to highlight uh, uh, here also another thing is whatever the precoding matrix or beamforming vectors which we had considered till now all were real right if you see here 1 1 1 minus 1 all were real but it did not be uh, so as per our processing uh, uh, chain uh, we can have even uh, um, the complex vectors so that is what uh, i will enter into the next uh, uh, example where you know the precoding matrix is of dimension 4 plus 2 which means that the number of uh, layers at the input is uh, 2 and the number of antenna ports which is at the output of uh, the precoding block is 4 and these 4 antenna ports uh, would be connected to 4 different physical antennas okay so the example matrix which i am considering here is 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 uh, yeah this is uh, where you know x1 is transmitted uh, along this direction um, in x2 is transmitted along this uh, direction where the example vector at considered is 1j 1j this, uh, as you can see this is a complex vector okay so the main uh, one more main point which i want to mention here is as you can see x1 is transmitted along this direction x2 is transmitted along this direction saying that x1 is beam formed uh, into a space whose dimension is number of antenna ports similarly x2 also is beam formed into a dimension into a space whose dimension is antenna ports so the layer data uh, is actually beam formed and if you see um, you know the layer 1 uh, data um, you know this corresponds to let's say uh, first sub carrier and at the same time x2 is also corresponds to first sub carrier but in the layer 2 okay so only the layer data are being formed uh, in, in case of soap recording at, at this stage so now with this uh, um, with this background let us get into uh, transform recording block okay if you see this uh, you know, signal processing block the transform recording block is happening in the 11th stage this one okay uh, at this point in the in the 11th stage we have transform recording block here also uh, i mean uh, beam forming is happening some kind of beam forming happening that is what we discuss right now and uh, and this block is also known as the dfts oftm block this is where you know the dft is applied okay 
So basically, as per TGPP spec, okay. So whenever uh, transform decoding uh, block is enabled, this is enabled, then number of layers is equal to one. So uh, layers is equal to one. So basically, layer block is bypassed. So this layer, layer there won't be there won't be any layer uh, mapping block. So directly from modulation, there will be transform decoding, and then there there would be some decoding block, and then the further processing uh, happens. So that's where I will try to draw the diagram. So modulation block, there is only one um, layer, and uh, the transform decoding. This is where the DFT uh, happens, uh, and then uh, it goes to uh, you know the decoding block. And let's say if I consider two antenna ports, then it goes to two uh, physical antennas further. All right. But right now there is only one uh, layer here. So the example uh, which I would consider is uh, DFT two point. In which case the DFT matrix would look like one 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 minus one, right? So the how, how will we perform the DFT? So we will consider um, you know x one and x two. Uh, because this is a two point DFT, right? We need to consider both of them together and perform this uh, WDFT matrix, and then we will get uh, uh, X1 and X2 uh, samples in the frequency domain. So, this is the output. So, if you see here, even this X1, okay, uh, this X1 is actually um, transmitted along this direction, whereas X2 is transmitted along this direction. If you clearly see this DFT matrix, uh, this is this. This is equivalent to the precoding matrix which we had considered uh, in this example, right? So when we say that using this uh, precoding matrix, so there was a beam forming app, and definitely you know uh, at DFT so FTM block as well using this DFT matrix, uh, the X1 and X2 are also being formed in certain directions. But what we need to know down here is the X1 sample and X2 samples are in uh, um, time domain, and and the time domain samples. Uh, or be formed uh, into a space okay whose dimension is dft point dft uh, dft size i hope you got the clarity in case of precoding it was so what was it was the layer data which was being formed in, into a space whose dimension is number of antenna ports whereas in transform precoding uh, the time domain data is being formed into a space whose dimension is of DFT size. So that is the only difference. And and the finally this X1 and X2 are, are mapped onto subcarriers uh, and and that uh, the further processing continues. All right. So um, here I just took the two point DFT, but uh, there could be four point DFT or there could be the six point DFT. In which case, you know X1. And uh, x1, x2, and all of them will be being formed into a space whose dimension is of 36, 36 dimension, right? Because the, the, the DFT size is 36. So I hope you got the uh, clarity here. I, I hope um, you got to know that uh, how the beam forming is happening even with this uh, DFT, uh, DFT block. Uh, all right, but since this is happening in the digital domain, this is uh, some kind of a digital beamforming. So we will see more concepts related to beamforming in the upcoming videos. Um, thank you very much. Please stay tuned and please subscribe to the channel. Bye bye.